Buenos días, chicos. ¿Cómo les va? Chicos y chicas, ¿cómo les va? Buenos días. Chats, I have chats. Buenos días, González Nitsi. Bien. Buenos días, Itzel. Thank you. Bien, mira, pues aquí ya preparando todo para ustedes. Y rápido se fue el año escolar. Se recordarán, escasamente un, pues ya un año, ¿eh? Estábamos con estas dificultades y diciendo, vamos a terminar. Y pues vean, si sí, lo terminamos en línea. Bueno, ¿qué es lo que vamos a tener hoy? Sí, de conversation strategy. Sí, y ayer estábamos viendo, sí, expressions to express confidence. Remember what confidence is. Yes, confidence is, yes. To feel secure. To feel secure about many things. ¿Sí? Hoy va de la mano, el video de, de hoy va de la mano. ¿Sí? Con esto de confidence. Remember what confidence is. Confianza. Seguridad. Yes. On yourself. Ok, so, vamos a ver esta parte. Sí, y bueno, esta parte, pues básicamente ustedes lo vieron cuando eran niños, niñas. Ok, Tumbelina. No sé si alguien conoce este nombre de Tumbelina. ¿Sí o no? ¿Alguien conoce este nombre de Tumbelina? No. ¿No? ¿Nadie? Bueno, de regreso, porque veo que la mayoría está con cámaras apagadas. De regreso, sí, ya que termine este video, sí, todos con sus cámaras prendidas. Porque ahorita sí se me traba el video, pero al rato ya, clase normal. ¿Ok? So, vamos a ver qué es esto de tumbalina. Thumbelina. There was once a woman who was very lonely and decided to go visit her friend, the fairy. She was a teeny weeny one. Well, you are a dear friend, so I will help you. Take this grain of barley and go home and plant it in a flower pot. But I want a little girl. What will I do with a grain of barley? Trust me and do as I say. You will receive a very pleasant surprise. The woman went home and planted the grain of barley like the fairy had told her to. The 
next morning, she was amazed to see that the grain had grown into a beautiful flower resembling a tulip, with its soft petals still shut tight. This is so beautiful. I have never seen anything like it. The woman held the flower tenderly and kissed it. Immediately, the petals opened, and there lay a beautiful tiny girl. Oh my god. She's so pretty and dainty. I shall call her Thumbelina. And I must thank my friend the fairy for such a lovely gift. The woman gently lifted the little girl from the floor. Let me see how I can make her comfortable. This walnut shell shall be her bed, and I think these flower petals can be used as a mattress and blanket. The woman placed Thumbelina on a tulip petal floating on a plate during the day. How happy Thumbelina was! She drifted around on her little lake, singing in the most sweet voice ever. One night, when Thumbelina was fast asleep in her tiny walnut shell, a horrible-looking frog saw her. Who is this tiny thing? She's so pretty. I think she will make a fine bride for my dear Toadie and a very good daughter-in-law for me. The frog hopped inside and carried away the sleeping Thumbelina to the pond. Oh, where are you? I am so hungry. When all 
his friends said the same thing, the cock Schaefer thought they might be right. So he put Thumbelina on the ground and flew away. Poor Thumbelina. She walked and walked in the wood, eating whatever she could find and drinking the dew on the flowers. Summer turned to autumn, and soon the bitter cold winter arrived. Unless I find somewhere to take shelter, I will surely freeze to death. Brr. As Thumbelina was walking in a field, she suddenly came across a tiny door. Ah! I think this must be the house of a field mouse. I hope it is a kind mouse who will give me something to eat and let me stay for some time. Thumbelina knocked on the door, and very soon it was opened by a mouse. I'm very hungry. Could you please give me something to eat? What are you feeling out in the cold? Come in and warm yourself near the fire. You can share my dinner. I have some hot soup and cheese and bread. Thank you so much. You are so kind. Soon Thumbelina had eaten a nice meal prepared by the mouse, and feeling tired, she just wanted to sleep for some time. Your house is so warm and cozy. May I sleep here tonight? I'm really tired after walking for so long. Well, if you have nowhere to go, you can certainly rest here. In fact, if you can keep my house neat and clean, you can stay here for the whole winter. Can you do that? Of course, thank you so much. So Thumbelina spent the winter with the mouse. One day the mouse said to Thumbelina, Please clean the house very well, as I have a dear friend visiting me tomorrow. A friend? Is it another mouse? No, no, it's my good friend the mole. Oh, he is so rich. He has such a large home. You know what? I have a great idea. If you could sing sweetly for my friend and tell him some nice stories, he might even marry you. Even though he is blind, he will look after you well and all your worries will be over. When the mole came to visit, he fell in love with Thumbelina's beautiful voice and asked to marry her. I'm so happy. I'm sure you both will make a wonderful couple. Let us start making preparations for a summer wedding. As the mole was leaving the hole leading to the mouse's house, he kicked a sparrow lying there. Don't kick the poor little thing. Can't you see it's her? Where did this piece of filth come from? These pesky things keep flying all over and don't bother to make a home for winter. The sparrow deserves to die. Thumbelina was shocked at the mole's behavior. She couldn't imagine how anyone could be so cruel. Oh, you poor birdie. I will nurse you back to hell. Though the mouse got angry, Thumbelina cared very lovingly for the sparrow, till it was strong enough to fly away. As her wedding day was coming closer and closer, You can't marry that mole. I would rather die. Not only is he stupid and ugly, he is a total savage. And I can't imagine living all my life in a hole. I want to be out in the sun and breathe the fresh air and see all the lovely flowers and birds. I have to escape from the mouse and the mole. Suddenly, Thumbelina heard a sound and looked up to see the sparrow she had looked after. My dear, you are a gentle and kind soul. That horrible mole does not deserve you. Winter is soon going to come and I am flying away to a warm land. Why don't you just hop onto my back and come with me? I will take you far away from the mole and the mouse. Thank you, thank you so much, dear friend. I have to escape from here. So Thumbelina jumped onto the sparrow's back, and away, away, away they flew to the beautiful land of flowers. Whee! This is so wonderful! The sparrow very gently put Thumbelina on the petal of a large yellow flower. Thumbelina was tired after a long journey, 
and immediately fell asleep. The sparrow sat on a tree above, looking after her. A little later, she woke up to the sound of a very gentle voice. Who is this pretty maiden? I have never seen her here before. Thumbelina got scared on seeing the stranger. Oh, don't be afraid. I am the king of flowers. I have never seen anyone as beautiful as you. Will you be my queen? Suddenly, Thumbelina's friend, the sparrow, flew down. Thumbelina, Thumbelina, this is the king of flowers. He is a very, very kind man, and everyone here loves him, I know. So, my dear, what do you say? Will you be my wife? The king was so kind <coughs> and handsome. How could Thumbelina refuse? And so she married the king and became the queen of flowers, living happily ever after. Okay, so what do we have here? Wait. Here, what we check is confidence. Seguridad. Okay, good morning, Cesar. Yes, and lack of confidence. Sí, eso es lo que estamos viendo. ¿Sale? Entonces, vamos a hacer el ejercicio rápido. Confidence. Lack of confidence. Okay, para poder entender what is this confidence and lack of confidence. Okay. Bien. ¿Cuáles eventos of this passage, of this uh, video, do you see or do you consider they are Confident. ¿Ok? ¿Cuáles de, de, de estos les da seguridad? ¿Ok? Que ustedes vieron seguridad en Tumbolina. No, ninguno. Ok, ahora sí, sus cámaras, chicos, chicas. Sí hay bastantes, chicos. Ok, sí hay, sí hay bastantes. Ok. Confidence. Ask for help. ¿De veras? Asking for help is confidence. Pues sí, porque no cualquiera se atreve a veces a pedir ayuda. Ok. Another. Walk to escape. Ahí la tienes. Ok. When she escape from the frogs. Yes. Walk and walk. Ok. Walk. Yes. To, to, to escape from these frogs. Sale. Another. Uh, no, se les bajó esa creatividad. Fly on the back. Yes. Of a parrot. Sí. Está bien, vamos, vamos a ver el tamaño de tumbalina. Very small. Yes. And this parrot eh, propose. Jump on my back. Yes. And let's go. Okay. Another one. Uh, 
to meet the man with to meet the man of flowers, sorry, flowers. Ok, ahí cuando conoce a, a, al, al rey de las flores, ok, the man of flowers, sí, ahí sí dijo, esta persona, very handsome, very nice, yes, yes, I can marry this. Ok, entonces, confidence, confidence, lack of confidence. ¿Dónde le faltó seguridad to this girl? No. No hay ningún ejemplo de falta de seguridad. On the pond. Yes, with the frogs. Sale cuando estaban ahí on the pond with the frogs. Well, she say, what can I do? And she felt, she felt very bad. Correct? Well, lack of confidence, another point. No le vemos más. Vamos a poner <coughs> to face the frogs. ¿Sí? Cuando le dice the frog, you will marry my son. Ok. She didn't face. No los encaró, the frogs. Ok. She just cried. So, this, this, in this video, we have a clear example of confidence and lack of confidence. Bien. Vámonos directo, entonces. Prepare, prepare, evolve. Está. Lo que estábamos viendo ayer. This. Ok. This. Ahí tenemos this uh, sport that is karate or jiu-jitsu, okay, for, for, for being more specific in this uh, sport, yes. And the other one, yes, the other one, uh, an office, working, etc. Correct? Bueno, vamos a ver in this. Ustedes pueden abrir su libro en la página 90. ¿Ya están ahí? Página 90. Sale, y tenemos this short conversation. Yes, short conversation. Pay attention mostly to the words. Involved. <clears throat> Las letras negrillas. Pay attention to that because some phrases you express confidence. In other phrases you express no confidence. Sale, ustedes la pueden seguir ahí en su libro y terminando, pido la participación of some students. Lesson 9.3, page 90, exercise 1A. I heard you're giving jujitsu lessons to some of our co-workers. I am. We're starting next week. Why don't you join us? Me doing jujitsu? I'm not sure I can handle that. Why not? I don't think I'm strong enough. It's not about being strong. 
It's about technique. And if you're worried about falling. Well, yeah, that concerns me a little. Honestly, that won't be a problem. You'll learn to fall safely. And it's a beginner's group. Okay, and who's in the group? Well, if you join us, you'll have to fight with your boss. Well, that doesn't bother me. I think I can handle that. <laughs> Bien. <clears throat> in this conversation, yes, they talk about this sport, yes, jiu-jitsu. All right, and right there, she is expressing confidence and lack of confidence. Sí, vamos a ver entonces. A ver, déjame ver. Ok. ¿Qué pasó con Sosa y su cámara? Sánchez Medina. ¿Qué pasó con Sánchez Medina? Catherine, ¿qué pasó con usted, señorita? Angelo. Ajá, ok, Angelo. Rodríguez, Itzel y Méndez, Itzel. Vamos, chicos. Ok, se está uniendo Alan. Ok, Sosa. Ya está aquí grabado en el video. Sale, entonces. <coughs> a y B. Uno estudiante, un estudiante va a ser B, A y otro va a ser B. Ok. Vamos a ver entonces. Bien, vámonos con alguien que no haya participado. Kevin. Kevin, open up your microphone. No, Kevin. Jenny Reyes. Sí, profe. Ok, tú eres A. Ah, Oliver. No, Oliver. No, no sure. ¿No vas a participar? Me se me acabó el tiempo. ¿Ya él? Mande, profe. Dale, usted va a ser B. Dale, entonces. Iniciamos, señorita, la A y su compañero es la B. Um, I had your giving you two lessons to some of our co-workers. I am. Um, we're starting a week. We don't you, uh, don't you, John? Me doing jiu-jitsu, I'm not sure I can handle. Why not? I don't think I am strong enough. It's not about being strong. It's about checking and if you're working about fighting. Well, yeah, that comes me a little. Honestly, that won't be a problem. You learn to to fall asleep. 
and its wearing group. Okay, and who is the group? Well, well, if you don't use, you will have the two wing, wing, your boss. Well, that doesn't bother me, bother me. I think I can handle that. Okay, great. Bien. Recommendation, guys, to the two people. Traten de leer lento. No se apresuren a leer rápido, okay? Bien. Right there we have phrases. Acá abajo, right here. Acá abajo están, ahí están las dos flechas. Yes. Expressing confidence. Este ejercicio siempre ha sido muy fácil para mí. Porque nada más ves arriba y copia las de abajo. Siempre ha sido súper fácil para mí. Sí, no tiene gran ciencia, solamente copias las, las negrillas acá abajo y eso es todo. Sí, entonces, copy that once for expressing confidence. Sí, vamos a trabajar con ellas en un speaking de acá abajo. ¿Sale? Entonces, póngalas ahí abajo. Please. Bien, a lo que ustedes están copiando, les voy a mandar el link. Sí, ustedes solamente deben de poner Apples or coffee. What kind of food wakes you up in the morning? Sí, ¿qué te levanta? Apples or coffee? A ti. Yes, apples or coffee. So, solamente write apples. Si para ti es el coffee. Coffee. Ok, vean bien cómo está escrito coffee ahí para que no se equivoquen, chicos. Mis es la que está poniendo, este, tiene una lista ella de todos ustedes. Sí, bueno, no una, tiene varias, ¿verdad? Pero en esa lista pone a los estudiantes que si sí participan y la otra vez me mandó una lista estos son los estudiantes que sí participan de semestre entonces please guys participate in this Ya está. Bien. Lo que voy a hacer ahora es Ok, Sánchez Yutzil, Yutzil. What is the first phrase? Can you tell me what is the number one? That won't be a problem. That won't be a problem, exactly. What is the, what is the interpretation? Eso no será problema. So that express confidence, yes? When I ask a favor, 
please, you chill. Can you pass me? Can you pass me the? Can you pass me your pen? That won't be a problem, and you express confidence. Okay, sale. Entonces, that is the number one. Number two, Mitzi, what is the number two? Okay, Kevin, thank you. That doesn't bother me. Okay. Ah, claro que sí, no me molesta. That express confidence, okay? Yes. Me, uh, for example, one example. Mitzi, um, can you help me with my computer? That won't be a pro. That doesn't bother me, teacher. Yeah. Vamos. Okay. Falcon, what is the number three? Uh, that's going to be a problem. La siguiente, the number three. La de abajo, Falcon. I am. No, I, I don't I think. think I am. Uh -huh. I think. Uh -huh. Um, I think. I can. I can. Hand, es, handle. No sé cómo se puede decir. Handle. 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 That. Handle. Yo puedo That. sobrellevar eso. <coughs> sí, sí lo puedo hacer. Ok. So, si le pido one favor to Falcón. Yes. <coughs> Falcón, take these papers to, to the principal office. I think I can handle that. Claro que lo puedo hacer. Ok. Bien. Me voy con... Bautista. <coughs> What is the number four? Bautista. Uh, that work to be proper. Okay, I am not sure. About that. Okay, bien. Ay, no tengo la seguridad. That is lack of confidence. Okay. Eh, Aguirre Beristain. Number five. 